Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I will show you how to use the iterator to iterate the individual object of user defined class. So let me save this program as integer MCA2 cricketer demo one dot Java. Now I want to create the user defined class. So I'm just creating here one class that is cricketer. So we all knows that each and every cricketer has unique code that is integer cricketer code. Now I want to define the cricketer name that is string and I want the maximum score by the cricketer that is integer score. Now I want to import the package over here that is import java dot util dot star that is for the collection. Now I want to define here the constructor that is for the cricketer and it is a parameterized constructor user can pass the cricketer code cricketer name and maximum score by the cricketer now i want to initialize the this dot cricketer code it means that instance variable this cricketer code will be initialized with the value that is passed by the user that is parameterized that is cricketer code same way this dot cricketer name is equal to cricketer name this dot score is equal to score now whenever user prints the object of the cricketer i want to print the details of the cricketer so i'm just overriding the method that is public string to string and here i'm simply returning the instance variable that is written cricketer code plus some space then cricketer name plus some space and then cricketer score so this is my user defined class is ready now now i want to create the collection to store this cricketer data and then i want to iterate the same so i'm creating here one more class and that is cricketer demo one now here you can write the main method that is public static void main now i want to create the instance of the cricketer and that i want to store in a collection so i'm just creating here the instance of collection so i'm just creating here collection and that collection will be of cricketer so i'm just making it generic that the collection cricketer c is equal to and here you can write new array list so this collection will be of the cricketer so i'm writing here generic that is cricketer over here now you can simply add each and every cricketer object in this collection c so we can write here c dot add and i'm invoking the constructor of user defined class that is cricketer and i'm passing here that is 101 cricketer code name of the cricketer for example sachin tendulkar let me provide the high score of sachin tendulkar and that is 248 let me copy this particular record one two three four and i want the five records so i'm writing here one more record that is 102 name of the cricketer and that is brian lara highest score is that is 400 103 i want to add one more record over here and that is rohit sharma rohit sharma having the high score that is 264 now i want to add one more record over here 104 and the record is that is ravindra jadeja here I want to mention the score that is 175 here I want to add one more record that is 105 and here you can add the record for example Rahul Dravid and here you can add the score for example 280 now five records of the cricketer is stored in the collection that is a C now you can just simply print this record for example if you write here system dot out dot print line and C you can just save this you can just compile your code that is java c cricketer demo one dot java and you can simply run this that is cricketer demo one and you will get all the records but it will be in a square bracket right now i want each and every individual record so for that you need to use the iterator so how we can do this very simple here you can just write that is you can create the instance of iterator it is equal to c dot and you can call the function that is iterator now instead of printing all this in a collection you can just iterate it one by one 
so you can write here while it dot has next it means that if next record is found then it will return true so until and unless all the record is found in the collection iterator will simply iterate each and every record from the collection and here you can just simply print the same that is using it dot next function so you can call here it dot next you can save this now you can simply recompile the same code and you can run this and you will get all the five records available over here so using iterator we can simply iterate each and every record from the collection but i want to search for the specific record so what we can do very simple let me save this particular program and that is a save as cricketer demo 2 now here you can just change the name of the class that is cricketer demo 2 now i want to make the searching so how we can do this we will ask from the user that enter the cricketer code so let me write here one variable that is integer cricketer code is equal to you can just write here that is integer dot parsing and you can simply get the value from the user that is command line argument that is args of zero so if this cricketer code and the iterator cricketer code if both match then i want to simply print the data so now here you can just do what very simple this iterator is collection of cricketer so you can make it here generic that is a cricketer now here you can just instead of printing the it dot next directly you can store this in the cricketer object so you can just create here one object that is cricketer ckt is equal to it dot next so the next record will be stored in the cricketer object that is ckt object if ckt dot cricketer code equal equal cricketer code that user has provided that is over here if both match then you can simply print the object of ckt that is system dot out dot print line ckt you can just save this you can simply recompile the code again and here you can just provide that is java c cricketer demo 2 dot java and you can run this that is cricketer demo 2 but now you can provide the data that is a cricketer code for example if you provide here 102 then you will get the record of brian lara and if you provide the record number 103 then you will get the rohit sarma and if it is 105 then it is rahul dravid so it is very simple functionality you can say you can search from the collection using the iterator if you are writing the code like this but what if the record is not found if you provide here 110 then the record is not available over here so for that you can just simply write here one variable that is boolean found is equal to false if the cricketer code is a match then very simple you can just make it here that is found is equal to that is a true if it is found then definitely we are printing the data if it is not found then we can simply write the condition over here that is if not found then simply print the message and that is a record not found or you can say cricketer code not found you can just save this particular code and you can simply recompile the code that is cricketer demo 2 dot java and you can run this if you provide 102 then brian lara 103 then rohit sarma and if you provide 110 then you will get the message that is cricketer code not found now i want to delete the record using iterator so it is very simple you can just save this particular program as cricketer demo 3 dot java now here if the record is a match then instead of printing the record you can just make it here that is iterator dot remove so iterator is used to remove the current record and here the found variable is assigned to true so if not found then you can say cricketer code is not found and if it is found then you can simply print the message that record is deleted successfully record deleted successfully now how can i say that it is deleted successfully so you can just use the same iterator 
to display the data and if that particular record is not available then you can say that record is deleted successfully so here you can just write what that is it is equal to c dot iterator and instead of doing this you can simply print the record that is a system dot out dot print line and you can just simply print the it dot next so no need to write all these things you can just paste over this and you can simply remove this particular line now you can just save this and here you can just simply recompile the code and that is java c cricketer demo 3 dot java but before that you just need to change the name of the class and the class name is cricketer demo 3 now you can just write here that is java c cricketer demo 3 dot java and you can run this java cricketer demo 3 now you can provide the value for example if you provide here 102 then except the 102 all the records will be displayed see here 1 3 4 and 5 2 is not displayed over here suppose if you provide here the number that is 101 then the record of sachin will not be displayed so record is deleted successfully the rest record is available over here and if you provide here 110 then record is not found so all the records will be displayed that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this is the way you can delete the record using iterator you can search the record using iterator and you can display each and every record using the iterator so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day